Greetings! Welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's an exciting day. We are going to show you something brand new and something that uh, comes from a company we've been seeing some other products that have showed up on our site before. Z-Blaze. And they've come out with a thing called the Vibe. And it comes to us from Banggood. What have we got in the box? Let's take a look. It's called the Vibe, and it's a hiking, five-atmosphere, waterproof, 365-day standby battery time, digital smartwatch. And yep, we got a link down below. You can pick it up from Banggood, and we got uh, coupon discounts there for you as well. So what exactly is in this thing? It is, um, well, it's a digital watch. We've seen a couple of those here on this channel. And because it's digital, just a monochrome screen with numbers and such on it, it has a super long battery life. But it's actually a sports watch because it can do all sorts of things, including notifications, step counting, um, alarm clocks, and more. And all of that with a 240 milliamp hour battery. The adventure experience, they say. Okay. So this is for outdoor use, obviously, and because it's got what you call a trans-reflective or transflective type screen, you're going to be able to read it easily in the sunlight, just like you could with those old digital watches. Let's take a look inside the box and see what we've actually got here. Aha! An operator's guide, which we'll get to in a minute. And then the watch itself. Wow! And this one, this one's got the metal band too. That is sleek. Look at that. Two buttons on this side, two buttons on that side. If you look carefully, it tells you what they are. A light, a start and a stop, and a mode button. And there's a little protective plastic across the back. And that's it. And totally removable. Wow, really nice metal bands. We'll put that on in a minute. Let's see if there's anything else in the box we need to take a look at. There shouldn't be a charging cord because there's no need to charge this unit. No, that's it. It's just a empty box from that point. Okay, so this is what we've got. We've got the manual, we've got the watch, and let's take a look through what they call the operations guide. Wow, okay, from Z-Blaze now, which is great. Um, Z-Blaze is branching out. You know, Z-Blaze did the Blitz, right? And then they did the Thor, which are uh, really superior Android uh, watches. And now we've got this one. Okay, warning statements. And then to display content and status. So this tells you what all those little icons are that grow across the bottom. And we'll get into that when we actually look at the watch, how you turn it on and off, how you set up Bluetooth, because you'll be Bluetooth syncing this to your Android phone or iOS phone, I presume. How you set the time and all the different stages you go through. And then, of course, the date. Like a typical digital watch, you just cycle through each of the things and adjust the numbers accordingly till you get to the end. You can set alarms. All of that is basic digital stuff. Your basic stopwatch timer, start and stop, and you get to it with the mode button, right? And runtime sports data. Okay. And you can see you have those different icons that relate to your pedometer, your calories burn, and your distance that you've covered. Now you get into the more of the sports, uh, or should I say tethering uh, smartwatch capabilities, uh, where you can use this thing in a variety of capacities, like a remote camera and uh, receiving notifications. And a light on the side brightens the dial at night. It's a reverse screen so that uh, when we turn it on you're going to see that you're not actually looking at the digits against the black background uh, a white background you're 
or clear background, you're looking at it reversed. Now, here's what you need to scan to get the app to use it on an iPhone. And here's your app installation for Android. Okay. Wow, the whole manual is in English, and it's a thick one, too. Then you uh, register yourself with your app, and you log in, and you bind or tether the watch to the phone. Here's how you untether or unbind it with the, with the iPhone, right? And then here's your app uh, operation. uh -huh. You usually don't see the details about the app in the manual. That's great. So a very extensive manual comes with this. Okay. Once again, the three different um, QR codes down here at the bottom. And what you use in China, outside of China for the Android. And a warranty card. And that's it. All right. Uh, I'd say we need to charge it up and turn it on, but... The battery's a long life thing, so if it's all set, I should just have to push and hold to turn the power on. Oh, that's right. We have to push and hold the opposite buttons, both of these at the same time. There, it says on, and it's coming up, testing all of the display, and it's set up. At the very beginning, at 12.00, and running from that point on. Okay, when we press the mode switch on the side, you can see it's going to toggle through a variety of different modes on the watch. And as you saw in the manual, we could go through and set the date and time. And we're back to time. There, I've set the time, and we're ready to go. Now... Before I begin, I want to point out something, that this watch, which is the Vibe from Z-Blaze, is pretty much the same thing as the one we already reviewed called the UU, except the casing and the bands are completely different. So you have two different looks. This is a very elegant, solid, metal everywhere watch. This one is more or less a TPU plastic kind of uh, construction with a rubberized leather looking kind of a, a band, but it's actually made out of a very flexible rubbery type of a substance. Uh, they both have the battery in the back that lasts for over a year and the reverse visual display. Now watch as we go through here. It switches to date, and then it switches to all these things down at the bottom. Your number of steps, your calories burned, your distance, the alarm, the stopwatch, and back to the time. The functions are identical. Down here you have the camera, the telephone, and the messaging, so you can get notifications of those or use it as a remote camera. And uh, up across the top, you have a Bluetooth flashing, you have Bluetooth in here, and then you have the day of the week. So the displays carry the same information, slightly different layout, and the functions are identical. So at this point, I'm going to switch you over to look at all of the features of this watch on this watch, because we've already done a complete review of this one. Then I'll be back and talk a little bit about more of both of them together, what similarities and differences we've discovered. These are the functions you're looking at. Here's the time. I press it once, and now it's showing me the date. That's the calendar. Then it's showing me the steps I've taken today, what that translates to in calories, what that is in miles or distance. Here's the alarm function. Here's the stopwatch function, which you start and stop here. I played with it all over the weekend, and it runs uh, to 23, 59, 59, and switches over to zero again. So it's a one-day timer. So it repeats every day. And uh, stop it and reset it down here. And then you're back to time. The time it pulls from Bluetooth synchronization. Now, you see the little Bluetooth icon is right there. And 
uh, next to the day of the week, Monday. And if it's all set up right, it should just simply synchronize here. And I pull down to refresh it. And I think, what did I have? 41 steps so far today. Uh, it says, each time it says never refresh. So, and there's a few little glitches in the, uh, there you go. <clears throat> few little glitches in the software here, but not too bad. Let me run you through this. When you're looking at this page, it's showing you your basic data. If I flip up like this, it comes to your summary. This is the daily. We have weekly and we have monthly. Across the top here are the days of the week. And this is today. And it's telling me my exercise information. And it goes on down to give me some exercise advice. With 41 steps, I'm sure the advice is... Warranted. Watch. If I slide here, I go back to yesterday. And there's yesterday's data. Slide it again. And on the day before. And it tells me where I'm doing there. Now, you can set your goal. And I think it's really low on this, like 3,000 or something steps. And honestly, I didn't do much uh, workouts or walking or anything. This is not going to discriminate on whether you're running or walking or jogging, whether you're in your target heart rate zone or not. There's no heart rate monitor on it. It's a simple digital watch that, oh, by the way, will track your steps and keep a annual log of them. Here's the weekly report. And I can change weeks. There was what's considered last week through Sunday, and this being Monday is uh, starting the next data, and it's showing you your total uh, daily step count on a weekly average, and it's giving you your achievement against reaching your overall 3,000 steps a day goal, calories, and exercise advice. And again, then you have month, and we're still in the month of April, so it's only going to have the month of April. But look at that. Every single day in the month is there. And it's again showing you your daily uh, accumulated average overall steps against um, the chart on the side for the month. So you have month, week, and day reports. And the day is, is breaking it down by hour. So it's tracking all that here in the device. And periodically, I think within 15 days, you just simply sync this to the app. And you've got some really good accumulated data if what you're trying to do is, say, reach a stepping goal for weight or exercise or heart health or whatever. So it's not a watch for everybody. This is not a fancy Android watch. But it is a, a really decent watch for being able to pull in the information that you need for steps. And also have alarms go off and notification happen if you're getting uh, simple stuff. Let's see what the notification things are. Let me get into that over here. Coming back, we've got uh, a way that you can send these results out over these various things, but nothing more. Twitter, Facebook, WeChat, and WeChat Moments, okay? Then this brings us into our setup. In our setup, you can set your health goal and all sorts of information. There's the exercise goal. Oh, I guess it was set for 5,000. Um, I've been doing like 3,000. You can set a weight goal. You can go into moments, and moments is where you find new friends. And you can do uh, comparisons, I guess, uh, with your friends. You can add a new friend there. I think that's the WeChat moments. Here's the remote camera which should switch this to camera mode. And uh, in camera mode, I think I can just press the button here. I'm going to wiggle this and see if... I'm not sure which one it was. I thought... Oh, no, there it is. It's that start button. Okay, you see it? it the, the picture froze and you heard a sound that just took a picture. So you can use the watch as a remote camera trigger by going into the app and tapping camera to get everything all set up. We have reminders, and um, these are the different reminders it supports. You can turn on an alarm. You can do all these different reminders here. 
but no more. It's not going to remind you of everything you've got installed in your phone, just these particular ones. But phone and message and the typical ones, including WhatsApp, Facebook, and Twitter. And then your connected device. And this is where you can remove or bind your device to, to make the connection. So really simple app, basic features, and um, mostly for tracking your information related to steps and accumulating that data over several different days, oh, throughout the whole year, actually. Nice little watch. Wireless connectivity over Bluetooth 4.0, low power. Oh, and by the way, uh, after a half hour or so, that little Bluetooth marker will go away. Uh, it turns it off if, if you're not using it or needing it. And all you have to do is press and hold on the light button and it'll activate the Bluetooth. So if you're trying to sync from your phone and it's not wanting to sync, make sure that that's turned on and to do that, press and hold. And when they're all done, uh, it'll turn itself off to save your battery, of course. What else? Remote control for all of these things. And it's an ultra low power FSTN negative display LCD EL backlight. Yes, it has a backlight. It has a buzzer. Um, and it stores every 15 minutes and accumulates 15 days of motion data. So you can take this with you on your climb to the Alps. And as long as you get back within 15 days, you can sync to your phone then. The light is over here. I'm not sure if we can see it. Let's get it where it's dark. Wow, do you see a light in there? It's really, really soft. I'm not seeing it light up on camera, but it is lighting up. It's kind of that electroluminescent greenish blue light, and it shows up. I'm going to press and hold and turn the Bluetooth off. As you can see up in the upper right-hand corner, it's now turned off. So the layout is slightly different on the UU watch than it is on the Z Blaze Vibe. You see, the Bluetooth is bigger and flashing up here in the upper left-hand corner, whereas it's in the right-hand corner on the UU. But other than that, the layout of all of the applications that, that are in the watch and the cycling through the mode switch, all the way down to the uh, tethering app, which you can download from the Google Play Store right now if you want to. It's called XWatch. You can install it and check the app out without having any of these watches. Um, but that's all the same. So you really are looking at the identical functional software on almost identical hardware with a difference being the casing. The, um, the Vibe is a much heavier watch. This thing is really, really solid. And when you put it on, it really looks elegant. Well, it's a little bit big for me. I'm going to have to adjust it. But uh, that's what it looks like on. A very sweet watch. Again, you've got the somewhat trans-reflective type screen that is easy to see in bright light. And when it's dim light, you have to press the backlight, which you can't really even see in the daylight. But in a dark room, you can see it. All right. So we're looking at the Z Blaze Vibe. Brought to us by Banggood and available to you by clicking on the link in the show notes down below. And um, it's a pretty decent thing for not having a chargeable battery at all. If you want the kind of a digital watch that has sport features and has um, smartwatch features for notifications and even using it as a remote camera, you can't beat it. Take a look and we'll see you again soon.